The NDA is headed for a split, at least that's what it looks like from the statements of JDU leaders. Just days before the internal meeting on Narendra Modi's elevation, leaders from JDU have attacked Narendra Modi, saying it would be very difficult to continue in the NDA without LK Advani heading things. Mamta Banerjee has seen an opportunity and floated the idea of third front again. The Bihar Chief Minister, the most wanted man today. First, Mamta reached out for her new federal alliance. I gave some appeal through my, through my Facebook that let the non-Congress and non-BJP, the federal form, let be together for the next parliament election. And I already discussed the matter with Navin Patnayaji and Nitish Kumarji. Next, Advani called Nitish stressing the need to stay united. Finally today, the Congress made overtures to Nitish Kumar. So you're open to it? We are open to all secular parties. We've always said that. Now and in the future. Mamta Banerjee met Nitish Kumar's senior colleague, who had early virtually said the JDU-BJP alliance was over. But a lot depends on Nitish Kumar's next move. Another senior colleague today attacked Narendra Modi, the BJP's new campaign leader, and his role in the 2002 Gujarat riots. And what happened in Gujarat after that, Sadar Patel was sitting on the chair of Narendra Modi. But the feeling may not be mutual for the BJP that's already at pains to defend its own ally that's openly making overtures to Mamta Banerjee's idea of a federal government or a third front. Bharatiya Janta Party, who is going to make the NDA, will want to stay in Bihar and stay in the hit of Bihar. But is Mamta Banerjee's plan of a third front or a federal government feasible? She also called Orissa Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik, but he's keeping his options open. Well, it's early days yet. Let's hope for the best. We'll see in the future. The Congress and the BJP believe a third front can't happen. Th third front is this may be successful. Third front is a distant dream which never will succeed in a country like India. The current potential third fronters need other parties. They're all in power in states which together have only 103 seats. And between them, they currently hold 52 seats. And with more parties comes the challenge of internal contradictions and a scramble for power. Something that's been the experience in past third front experiments. Behind me, Mamta Banerjee's office. Like her, other regional parties may be big in their own states. And the combined tally of these regional parties after the elections could throw up a whole new range of permutations and political combinations. But for now, certainly with elections around the corner, it is open season to make new friends and modify old ties. With Kate Kiangre in Delhi, in Kolkata, Monidipa Banerjee, NDTV.